The Texas tourist accused of attacking a hostess at Carmine's faced a judge. What's next for that trio who says they are the real victims? Won't be able to get rid of all of the cloud cover and keeping an eye on some more morning fog. It started as a way to stay sane during the pandemic, but now he's spreading laughter during a dark time. New York Live is with the man behind Matterday Night Live. This is News for Now for October 6. I'm Adam Cooperstein. The three tourists from Texas accused of beating a hostess at a popular Manhattan restaurant faced a judge. And now they face up to a year in prison for the incident that sparked a firestorm of controversy. Oh! Kaida and Tayani Rankin and Sally Lewis were released after their date in court. And now they each face multiple assault charges and a harassment charge for that September 16th incident at Carmine's on the Upper West Side. According to court documents, the women grabbed the hostess by the arms and hair before hitting her in the face, even grabbing and breaking the 24-year-old's necklace. The police report and the restaurant say it all stemmed from the city's vaccine mandate requiring indoor diners to provide proof of vaccination. The women were vaccinated and were seated, but according to the restaurant, a group that showed up later to join them was not allowed in because they didn't show proof. A lawyer for the women says the fight wasn't about vaccinations at all. He alleges the hostess shouted racial slurs at the women, and that's why things escalated. A lawyer for the hostess denies that allegation, and Carmine says the women didn't mention a racial slur when police arrived at the scene. Those three women are due back in court November 18th. Now to the latest on the search for Gabby Petito's fiance, Brian Laundry. There's been another change in the timeline of this case coming from the Laundry family. They now claim that their son left their house in Northport, Florida to go hiking on Monday, September 13th, not the 14th. Brian's family also just revealed he flew home in the middle of his road trip with Gabby to clean out a storage unit. That was in mid-August, just days after the couple's encounter with authorities in Moab, Utah. In the meantime, Laundrie's sister talked to a group of protesters outside her home. I did not say that I saw my brother. I said I haven't been able to speak to him in reference to the time when I was called by the police. Since that point, I haven't been able to speak to my brother. Right now, Brian is only a person of interest in Petito's disappearance. He is not named in her homicide. Thieves in New Jersey are targeting high-end luxury cars, and one man is just fed up with them targeting his home. This surveillance video from August of last year shows Evan Wexler naked and armed with a gun when thieves tried to steal his SUV. He fired a warning shot at them, but even that hasn't deterred them. He says it's still happening. They've tried to steal his other high-end cars, including a Lamborghini, sometimes in broad daylight, and three to four times a week, he says. There were some weeks that they came Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. We need you to help us help you. We need you to lock your doors and take your fobs, please. Police in Fort Lee recently posted this warning saying there's been an increase in luxury car thefts. They say they are increasing patrols. And we should note Wexler was charged in the incident from last year for firing his weapon, but it was later reduced to probation. Hi there, I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Maria La Rosa. Another pretty gray afternoon temperatures staying in the 60s. Some of us did get up into the lower 70s, but more clouds around even as we get into the evening hours. So if you do get that break in the overcast, consider yourself lucky. We'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies overnight again and temperatures dropping into the 50s and 60s, but a lot like earlier in the morning, we'll likely see some fog develop. And in fact, the visibility forecast showing once again, mainly to the north and west, so that may be dense at times, especially in those river valley areas, and especially during the pre sunrise hours. Once we get that sun to come up and we'll see more of it tomorrow afternoon, we'll get to work and start clearing that out a bit down to 63 to start the day in the city. 55 in White Plains, 53 in Poughkeepsie. We'll see the 50s from Islip and Eastport and down the shore on our way up to warmer highs in the mid 70s for the afternoon. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, right? No show does it better than Saturday Night Live, but New York Live is with the one-man show, Matterday Night Live. If you close your eyes and listen, tell me who you hear. So I'll do the iced mocha, Frappuccino. Yes, uh, hello to the TikTok universe. Watch me whip. 
and watch me uh, no, no. He's this guy, comedian Matt Friend, known to his millions of viewers as Matterday Night Live. How's it going? I, I'm doing so well. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, do you remember the last time you were under this sign? I think I was an intern uh, at The Tonight Show, so it's coming full circle. You did so. your first impersonation at four, yeah. and then when you were 10 years old, you started a YouTube channel, and tell yeah. me what you called it. Matterday Night Live. Why did you call it Matterday Night Live? Saturday Night Live, I've just always been a, a massive fan, and uh, if I were ever lucky enough to have any opportunity to audition, I mean, that'd be a crazy dream, but it's de definitely the dream. So you graduate from NYU, and yes. you're trying to make it as a stand-up, and then this thing called the pandemic hit. It was crazy. And now everything is closed. Well, you got creative. I needed some sort of way to pivot, so I get home and I figure out a way to, to do just that, which was starting my own mini late-night talk show. Here's your host. Matthew Hello everybody, hello and welcome, welcome. And it was just a great way to include all my characters and impressions and ideas for stand-up. I also...